We have tremendous respect for the advantages of passive investing. It provides very deep capacity and liquidity, low implementation costs, low turnover, low transaction costs. Unfortunately, if one passively invests by replicating a capitalization weighted index, one weights companies as a function of their stock prices. The companies with the highest stock prices have the highest weights, lowest stock prices, the lowest weights. And if markets are not perfectly efficiently priced, as we don't believe they are, then you overweight all of the overpriced companies and underweight all of the underpriced companies, creating a return drag. We can measure this return drag by examining the return of a capitalization weighted index relative to the return of an index weighted with something other than market prices. For example, simply equal weighting. Over the last 50 years, the return of the capitalization weighted S&P 500 has been about 10%. But the return of the equal weighted S&P 500 has been about 12%, a 2% return advantage for the equal weighted index. Now you might think that the capitalization weighted index produces a return that's two percentage points below the return of the average company in the index. That's not quite right. In order to produce that 2% excess return, we have to rebalance the portfolio. Every year selling the companies that have outperformed and buying the companies that have underperformed. This is contrarian trading, selling the market's darlings, investing in the companies that the market fears and loathes. It's this contrarian rebalancing that's required to produce the excess return. Now, we can also rebalance a portfolio to fundamental measures of company size. For example, sales, or cash flow, or dividends, or book value. Or a simple weighted average of all four of these measures of company size. That produces what we call the Research Affiliates Fundamental Index Weight, or the RAFI Weight. This is simply a transparent measure of company size for the purpose of rebalancing the portfolio. There's advantages to weighting companies by their economic size, their fundamental size. That's that we get big weights to big companies, small weights to small companies, and medium-sized weights to medium companies. Bigger companies have deeper liquidity, deeper capacity, lower bid-offer spreads than smaller companies. By keeping most of the weight of the index in these larger companies, we end up with a portfolio that has lower volatility, lower tracking error, lower implementation costs, deeper capacity, more liquidity. That's the advantage of a fundamentally weighted index relative to any other alternative beta strategy.